Woo! They say Thanos is coming, but well, ladies and gentlemen, he's arrived. All right, so here it is. This is Thanos. I'm not even sure if I'm getting this old in frame. Happy how it came out. So yeah, I'm gonna run down the process of how I finish this and how I model it. Just a quick disclaimer. Um, and I'm trying to be more transparent about what's happening in the videos and the mistakes I'm making. Uh, Cause I want people to know that not every time I make a video that is just this wonderful process of everything just getting done. There are mistakes that I make and um, so I kind of want to highlight that. So right off the bat, I know everybody's wondering, okay, where did this head come from? So if you want to see more about this, you can head over to my channel, The Broken Nerd, and you can see how I went about printing this and painting this and getting it to look like the way I did. So you can head over there and check that out. In terms of the helmet and why <laughs> I am not just uh, showcasing the helmet by itself. I put the helmet on the head and when I modeled it, I modeled it to fit the head perfectly. But what I wasn't thinking about was once layers of paint gets onto the actual helmet, um, it's gonna be a snug fit. So when I put the helmet on, I actually started to hear the helmet crack. And that scared me half to death because I thought I was gonna break, then I was gonna have to uh, glue it back together, repaint it and go through that whole process again. But luckily it didn't. But what it did do is it started scratching off paint on the actual uh, face of the Thanos itself. So I don't want to take this off um, in the vein that I already know it's scratched off paint and I don't want to scratch off anymore. So that's why I have the helmet on top of the head. All right, so let's run down this process of how I finished the helmet. So I initially started the actual modeling in Cinema 4D. So I pulled in the actual head bust into Cinema 4D and I modeled around the actual helmet so that I'd get a good and uh, snug fit I based the design off of some reference pictures I found online. Now it's not exact, it is not 100% accurate, but this suits my needs and what I was going for. Instead of buying a mannequin head or buying a, uh, um, a head to display the helmet on, I said it would be cool if I go ahead and model the helmet and put it on um, Thanos' head and see how that will come out. So, And I'm happy the way it came out. So in terms of printing the helmet, I uh, sliced it in Simplify 3D and I printed it at, I believe, uh, 0.2 layer height. Once the print was done, 
there was a lot of cleanups to do on the top of the helmet. So I started off standing the top of the helmet. I started off with 100 grit just to knock back some of the support lines that were there and some of the deeper uh, print lines that were on the top of the helmet from being on, from being printed on the actual raft itself. So after that, I used XCC 3D to help smooth out the actual helmet itself. Once that was dried and done, I hit it with a coat of primer. So if, if most of you don't know, primer filler really, really helps in filling in any of the print lines. So before I put the final coat of primer on, I used a Dremel to just create some scratch marks in the helmet, just to create some battle damage. After hitting it with primer filler, it was time for me to go ahead and hit it with its first layer of paint. So for the paint job, for the helmet, I used, I used two colors. I used gloss purple for the overall, um, for the overall color of the helmet. So I just sprayed one coat of that on the actual helmet, and then I went through, then I went through the long and tedious process of masking everything off. So I had to mask off all these lines here, so that once I had everything masked off, I can go ahead and hit it with gold paint. And I used this Rust-Oleum metallic um, bright reflective gold spray paint this is my first time actually using this brand I'm I usually use Krylon but this dried pretty fast um, I used a hair dryer to aid in drying the um, actual uh, gold metallic so once everything was dry I uh, peeled off all the masking tape and again being transparent I didn't do that great of a job with masking so I did have some overruns or oh, some not overrun some over sprays from the actual uh, gold spray paint. I was fine with it because I was gonna weather the helmet anyways. I weathered the helmet with brown and black acrylic paint and just mixed it together and um, smeared it all over the helmet and wiped it off. Then I cleaned it off with some rubbing alcohol. It kind of dulled down and knocked back the gloss in addition to the matte spray paint that I sprayed over the helmet prior to masking it off and um, painting it, painting the uh, trims and the accents gold. In a nutshell, that that was the process of finishing the helmet. I went ahead and placed it on the actual head and here it is. All right guys, so that's it for this build. I thank you guys so much for tuning in. I wanna take the opportunity again to thank Make for hosting another video. Um, Infinity War is coming out this week and I am super excited. Once again, I thank you guys so much for tuning in. I thank Make for allowing me this opportunity to share my content with you guys. If you guys wanna see more of what I do, you can head over to my channel, The Broken Nerd. And if you want to keep up to date with things that I'm doing, you can follow me on Twitter at TheBrokenNerd83 or you can follow me on Instagram at TheBrokenNerd83. Oh, and by the way, I created a Facebook page and I'm still getting it up to date and in the process of updating and keeping it up to date. So again, that's TheBrokenNerd83. Once again, I thank you guys so much for tuning in. Peace and love. God bless.